Don't you hate feeling stressed and frustrated when your team is struggling to reach their targets uh, simply because your team didn't get off to a flying start and build on their momentum? Hi, I'm Mark Carrier. At the end of this video, you'll understand the simple seven-step process amazing team leaders use to build and sustain momentum with their team to regularly reach or even exceed their goals. Over the 31 years I've been running call centers around the world and consulting with uh, businesses, coaching and mentoring their call center managers and team leaders, one of the biggest challenges I've come across is teams regularly missing their targets and KPIs. Uh, it can be really stressful and frustrating when you watch the clock slowly wind down and you know you aren't going to hit your weekly or monthly target, right? To get your team off to a flying start and continue to build momentum to reach the team goals, the first thing you need to do is set clear targets and make sure everyone on your team understands what the target is and what the team needs to do to reach it and what each of them is specifically accountable to achieve themselves. You want everyone crystal clear about what the team needs to do and particularly what each team member needs to do on a daily and weekly basis to hit the target. So kick off the week or month with a quick team meeting to inform them of the team's target and specifically mention each team member's individual target that they are accountable for reaching. Now, be sure to listen to any genuine concerns about individual targets and look at these concerns as opportunities to provide the coaching and training needed to help them achieve their target. Next, you want to keep everyone accountable for reaching their targets, so be sure to give everyone a daily update during the pre-shift huddle, uh, telling them whether uh, the team is on target or not, and where each team member sits uh, with their individual target. You also need to regularly update the team and the team members' progress throughout the day, so everyone can see how the team is doing collectively and how all team members are performing individually. Having a whiteboard uh, prominently displayed is an easy way to do that. Uh, if specific team members are falling behind after a couple of days, you need to pull them aside and chat with them about their performance and discuss ways you can help them catch up with some training or coaching or simply move them away from team members who could be distracting them. Holding team members accountable this way helps to keep them focused on achieving their targets and builds urgency, which creates and builds momentum. Other ways to build and sustain momentum is to concentrate on reaching your team's target for the first hour of every shift, the first day of every week, and the first week of every month. Most team members like to slowly get started and ease themselves into the day. The problem with that is all too often they blow the first hour of the day or day of the week screwing around and quickly find themselves behind the eight ball and then frantically try to catch up. Just imagine if everyone were to hit or even exceed their target for their shift every day or were ahead of target for the first week of the month. How stress-free would everyone be? And if they weren't feeling stressed about hitting their targets, how much confidence would they have about reaching them and putting in extra effort if needed? So be sure to have your energy levels up for every first hour of every shift and the first day of every week so your team can feed off you and really concentrate on getting off to a good start. You also need to regularly and sincerely recognize and praise your team members each time they get a win, especially when they reach their daily and weekly targets. You can do this every shift during the team huddle uh, and throughout the day, uh, particularly if you have a whiteboard that shows how people are doing uh, achieving their targets. Now, it can be as easy as praising them when they update the board with another achievement. Finally, you need to celebrate when your team hits their target and recognize everyone's effort. And you don't have to go over the top. You can do simple things that they enjoy like having a pizza night or having everyone bake something for the team to enjoy through the next shift or even have a fancy dress day or, or at a casual dress day. Just do something they'd enjoy and appreciate for all the hard work they put in to achieve their target. Love to hear your thoughts on how to build and sustain momentum with uh, your team to reach your goals and KPIs. So just uh, leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, do me a favor and hit the like button below and share it with somebody you think it uh, can help. And be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell because I upload team leader uh, training videos every Wednesday 
And that way, when I upload more videos and tips, uh, you'll get notified. Thanks for watching.